I'll ask name and address as I generally do. You are not required to answer. I understand that. Thank you. You can also ask me to fly to the moon. I don't have the ability to do that. You're recognized. <laughs> Thank you. Councilman Joe Coyle, he needs police to escort him for a soda. I think we, we should give, give this young man uh, uh, some kind of an award. You guys give fake awards to your friends. We should give this young man <laughs> an award. He comes to these meetings all the time. They can call me an asshole all they want, but <laughs> you know, feel free to leave. Feel free to leave. No, but I didn't ask you to be here. recognizing me um, I will ask name it I'll ask name and address as I generally do you are not <laughs> required to answer me. I understand that. he Thank walks you. up you can also ask me to fly to the moon if I don't have the ability to do that <laughs> oh shit so they've been going back and forth for a long time because they're always asking him for his name and address and uh, he's been fighting with them back and forth because he doesn't fucking want to give his name and address and they're always asking him so when he walks up this time he says thanks for recognizing me <laughs> fucking crystal is brilliantly hilarious thank you for recognizing me uh, i will ask name it i'll ask name and address as i generally do you are not required to answer i understand that Thank you. You can also ask me to fly to the moon. I don't have the ability to do that. You're recognized. <laughs> Thank you. R153, oh, I'm against it. Resolution appointing John Catton. Um, <laughs> did any of you see his uh, qualifications? Oh is God. he qualified? Do any of you know who he is? He seems rather young to give anybody advice on what is ethics um r152 i'm against it samir naik um being on the um ethics board um first off i'm against these just because i did a number of ethics complaints that already got started up they already had two meetings and i feel it's unfair that halfway through the investigation we remove the people that started the investigation to bring them more friendly. So it's not nothing against these people, but you know, I, I'd like uh, the integrity of these investigations to be, you know, maybe you don't vote for these. Maybe you wait for those ethics complaints to be sorted out and then put them. I think that would be more proper to do, the more prudent and proper thing to do. Um, putting on resolution appointing Padmaya Chinta what are her, we know she's not qualified to be on the ethics board. Um, I know she ran with Tony D. Pascal um, for board of education. If the qualifications are just going to be being friends with Mayor Sam Joshi, I mean, it's even more reason to vote no. Um, I understand that every member on the ethics board is uh, expired, but the law is if you leave it as it is right now, they can finish, finish what they're doing. And, and that's what should be allowed. Let them finish their work. And if you want to appoint people afterwards, you should do it afterwards. Well, what's the rush now? Why didn't you appoint people before? You had the last year, you had all year this year. What's the rush now? Somebody filed ethics complaints and you want to get, get rid of these investigations? That's, that's how it looks like to me. Um, how much time do I have left, Marlena? Three minutes, and some of those ethics complaints are, you know, a lot of us, we're, we're trying to seek justice, you know. Uh, the pen is mightier than the sword, and, and when we go about it through the, through the proper channels, it's like you guys t even take that away from us. It, it's really not fair. And, you know, I, I really ask to please Absolutely let the investigations brilliant. continue, and you, and, and you pause those. Um, Absolutely brilliant. R127, I'm against R127. Now, is this 53,000 altogether? Or is it 
200,000 for the whole year. I'm a no, little it's bit confused. 53,000 for the whole year. For the whole year. All right. Even that's too much. Um, you know, uh, what are we? So, uh, North Korea over here. We need to send a, a newsletter to people's homes to self promote ourselves. I find, I find that a little bit disgusting. Um, <laughs> using taxpayers' dollars to uh, self promote ourselves. Does he think he can do this all the way up until his next election? Because that's, that's highly unethical. Somebody should write a, an ethics complaint on that alone, using taxpayer dollars to promote himself, one person. Um, and it, it, it's not just that, it's 53,000 for this. It's always things for the media, $100,000 we gave to Cassidy Grom. Um, her, her website slandered residents, recently slandered a BOE member. So I, I feel when we're, when we're handing, how much time do I have left? About a minute and a half. I feel like when we're, when we're given $53,000 to, to Illuminator and, and other things, it's, it's used to go after the mayor's political opponents. It's used to go after residents who disagree with the mayor. It's used uh, to slander and, and defame anybody um, it's used to character assassinate, so I hope we can remove R127. He, he really doesn't need this in the age of social media that he has. Uh, uh, he has his own Facebook page. If anyone wants, they, they can go online and, and see it for themselves. $53,000, I mean, we can do so much with that. If somebody's such a narcissist that, that they need to spend that much taxpayers' dollars to, to promote themselves in the age of social media, <laughs> I think it's a mental health issue. It's, it's really a mental health issue. Um, maybe rather, maybe we should take R one two seven out and maybe <laughs> seek a mental health physician. For these ladies in the background, folks, they're fucking giggling. If you if you're paying attention, they're the ladies in the in the background. They're looking at each other and they're fucking giggling, and their husbands probably don't like it, but. They're fucking laughing. They they understand what he, this guy's saying. They understand what Crystal's saying. <laughs> person who needs such things. But yeah, I, I'd really like you guys to take me serious on on the ethics because there are some complaints, specifically me being. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other uh, comments on the resolutions only? Fucking Crystal's brilliant, man. Am I recognized? I will ask name and address, understanding that you may not respond to that. And also, just before we start, just so you know, I have um, asked the deputy clerk to give notice when there's one minute remaining, just so that you don't have to break your thought um, with asking the time. Thank you. You're recognized. That will Thank be you. unnecessary, though. Thank you. Um, Edison TV YouTube is not showing videos. They're censoring videos. <laughs> The last council meeting video was censored. Two library board meetings were censored. They're all, it's always the controversial meetings too. So it's not technical difficulties. Um, and I, actually we know why this is now. Uh, text messages from the mayor have came out. And you know, uh, the mayor, he's forcing people on the council. He's coercing people on the council to commit illegal acts, to violate people's civil rights. He's coercing, he's coercing members of the council to commit felonies, conspiracy to deprive the public of their rights and deprivation, deprivation of rights under color of law. I would like an apology from this council and the reason being is because the mayor, at least somebody with integrity because the mayor, he used his uh, Facebook page he used his connection, Suzanne Russell, in the media, and they claimed that the reason for it was that racist and sexist remarks were made that day. Um, no racist remarks were made that day. Certainly no sexist remarks were made that day. But everything is caught right in the text message. Those, that was just added fuel to the fire to create fake outrage around me. It already said in the text messages why to remove the meeting because the sign said F coil, a sign which I did not bring, but I continue to be blamed for it. 
uh, Joyce, to the uh, council president, to Joyce. Joyce, you know, I didn't make, make any comments, but, but we spoke on it. You know, I love you. But what was most d disgusting, it was the BA, not the woman say it was, the, you know, the Sonia, the, the, of the BA using that moment to claim I was hating on women or making racist remarks. You know, that's what they get paid $300,000 a year to slander the residents? Would any, would any of you, now that the text messages came out, would any of you like to apologize to a lifelong resident all my life that you slandered me, that I made racist and sexist remarks at a meeting that were never made just so you guys can censor footage because it made the administration look bad? He wasn't defending Coyle. He certainly wasn't defending Joyce. He wasn't defending Joyce because it was all on the text message. It says, we have to remove this meeting because of the sign that said F coil, not because of what they, they use you, Joyce, as ammunition to go after people like me, which is very shameful using, I like Joyce, Joyce likes me. Why, why, would, why would the mayor do something like that? You know why, I don't understand. Um, I do understand Joyce, you didn't like me using that word that one day, but that, that's all right, you know. You have every right, you, and you do have every right to, to let me know that, too. Joyce, it's all right, you can run for BOE. You're going to continue being around. I can assure you Joe Coyle won't, but you will. My removal of the last meeting was uncalled for. Of course, I don't know how to speak Chinese. The lady asked me to come up there in case she couldn't read something in English, number one. Um, and those who claim they want a pub, that, no public advocate, because those who claim they want a public advocate don't advocate for nothing, so it's kind of highly suspicious. It's starting to become suspicious to me. Councilman Joe Coyle, he needs police to escort him for a soda. I've been stalked throughout this entire meeting. You guys might not know it, but I've been stalked this entire freaking meeting. The, the lawyer, Mincello, and, and the young man here, last time they stopped everyone to come in through the metal detector. But him and Mincello stayed up there to make sure about me. That's how I felt. That's how I felt that day. <laughs> and, you know, somebody walked in that meeting with a knife on them. Somebody walked in that meeting who quite often creates fake outrage around me with other people whose families are relatives of police to have me thrown out while I do my lawful activity. And of course, the Edison government is stupid enough to oblige. I don't like how Councilman Coyle was intimidating during the meeting my young friend, A.J. Benz. Um, he was being intimidated. I was being intimidated this whole meeting myself. But yeah, I'd like an apology that not just the mayor uses his Facebook page to say that I am a Nazi, the mayor's supporters are making comments that they're so proud that the ACLU defended Nazis, but that I do not deserve legal representation. So let me get this straight. I'm worse than the Nazis? Is, is that? <laughs> now I understand why the mayor and his administration treat me the way they do. A, a resident doing their lawful activity <laughs> is worse than Nazis. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Good evening, AJ Benz, and it's New Jersey. Do I have the floor? Yes. Thank you, sir. So, like uh, my friend Mr. Christo said, um, we had a little bit of audio problem. I asked for a five minute recess, and then they said I was out of order. I was right. I, I can see that coming from the operator who is running the TV and all that stuff. My colleague, Mr. Christo, told me a video of Mr. Transparency about the Nutley uh, fire chief. Saw the video. Just so you guys know, he's talking about my video uh, about the Nutley fire chief. So pay attention, guys. Very good. Um, she told me a video of Mr. Transparency about the Nutley uh, fire chief. Saw the video. Uh, so I don't know. I don't really like the uh, nickname, Mr. Transparency, but uh, 
AJ Benz, according to AJ Benz, I'm a Mr. Transparency. <laughs> if you guys don't know this, uh, I do have the first auditing channel that had transparency in the channel name. Uh, only because I wanted to bring transparency to all of this police accountability, right? I wanted to highlight the good and the bad, so I put transparency in the channel name. Uh, later on, a lot of channels came out. Uh, probably one of the biggest ones out there besides mine is Bay Area Transparency. So a lot of transparency channels came after me, which is bad ass. So any of you guys out there that throw transparency in your channel name, I probably always put you at the top of the list when I share videos. Yeah, so this guy calls me Mr. Transparency, so <laughs> I think that shit is hilarious. Video, though. Uh, she told me a video of Mr. Transparency about the Nutley uh, fire chief. Saw the video, very good. Um, Thank you. If Transparency, if you're, if you're watching this. Well, I'm watching. Thank you for uh, <laughs> lowing down the, the, the attentions a little bit. What are you talking um, about? <laughs> but further than that, if Crystal wants to say something about uh, OBL Nation or transparency. If not, then I will remain my minutes on here because it's absolutely violating the Fourth Amendment. Thank you. Yeah. What the hell is this guy talking Thank you, about? and uh, we will follow up on the supercharged, uh, <laughs> supercharged item. Fucking Crystal's hilarious. Thank you. Um, am I recognized? Recognized. I, uh, and I really appreciate not asking me. Uh, thanks for not making it a cat and mouse thing. I really appreciate it. Uh, in regards to what AJ Ben said earlier about transparency, I disagree. And the reason I disagree is because I have to disagree. But the reason I disagree, you can come, come stand up here with me if you want AJ Benz, you know? So it doesn't work that way. You're well, not he can. The meeting, the council president nah, is he can. Yeah, I know he can stand next to me if he wants. I'd like to congratulate my friend AJ Benz. I disagree what he said about transparency because you're the man, AJ Benz, and the reason why, AJ Benz here, he was able. Uh, what I believe he sa he saved the lives of a few kids. He, uh, an Albanian mafia dude, threatened to unalive himself. <laughs> with kids present in the room right away he recognized it was elmwood park congratulations he called it in possibly saved the kids lives New Jersey. damn right so uh <laughs> my whole rebuttal yes it's a rebuttal because he said uh transparency was awesome and i'm saying no 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 that he's awesome aj benz is awesome i'm saying hey i want to be on <laughs> team benz too so hell yeah good job for that aj um, how much time do I have? A minute and a half. A minute and a half. So I want to say congratulations. Um, yeah, I disagree with what you said on transparency. You're the one who's awesome. I think we, we should give, give this young man uh, uh, some kind of an award. You guys give fake awards to your friends. We should give this young man <laughs> an award. He comes to these meetings all the time. Um, one minute. One minute left. Check out the people in the back, folks. And it's fucking hilarious. Yep. Um, they, they can call me an asshole all they want, but <laughs> you know, feel free to leave. Feel free to leave. No, but I didn't ask you to be here. Um, and I'd like you to call people out of order and out there when when they're calling uh, speakers assholes. Okay, because if I did something like that, I. The cops would be removed. They, they were stalking me today the whole day. When they couldn't see me, they made sure to come inside. Before I came in the meeting, they were posted outside. Oh, yeah, it's rebuttal. So I'd like to um, congratulate this young man. I forgot. Thank you for I'd like to congratulate this young man. You're wrong. What you said about transparency. You're the one who's awesome. Keep staying awesome. Um, and yeah, the, the fact that I'm trying to congratulate you and other residents it, it it just shows the maturity levels. Speaker time has expired. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, back to what Christo said. I did report the. Uh, I will ask name and address. Oh, AJ Benz as New Jersey. 
Right. Like I said, I, I called News 12 New Jersey and I uh, reported it about the whole Nutley Fire thing. And I, from one media source, like I'm an independent journalist, investigator, all that stuff. I, I have to ask, I'm trying to be very flexible. Okay. Even though uh, it was at least in opposition, not an expansion on a previous comment. Yeah. I was just rebutting back to what he just said. That's, you're not rebutting. You're just talk, commenting on it. So it's. I just think we need to oh, wrap so, it up if you can. So like I like I said, I like I said, going back to what he just said. I if they want to give me a award, that's 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 totally fine. But uh, I I want to keep our kids safe from these pedophiles. Um, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else from the public? <laughs> Seeing none, motion to close. Motion to close the public question. Time and time again, I get complaints, and my neighbor just called me yesterday, flagged me off the street. I'm going to an important event. He stands in the middle of my... That right there, folks, is Joe the Florist Coil. One time, Crystal called him Joe the Florist Coil, and I couldn't stop fucking laughing, so I highlighted it on my channel. And if, if I'm not mistaken, the whole damn town now calls him Joe the Florist Coil. And the reason being is because this fool proposed, I guess, a to spend a whole bunch of tax dollars to beautify the downtown area and put a bunch of flowers everywhere. But if I'm not mistaken, a lot of those flowers ended up hell, hella dead, like fast. <laughs> Joe the Flores Coil spent a bunch of money on dead flowers. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but that's the rumor that's been going around and... The people of, of Edison are now calling him Joe the Florist Coil, so I think that shit is fucking hilarious. If this was a mafia member, his fucking nickname's the Florist. He'll be remembered in time as the Florist. <laughs> Fox just to tell me oh, how many problems he's had with Optimum. So let me end the video with saying something, folks. I know it looks like folks are trolling this city council and the city council members. You know, Jersey Watcher began going to these silly, silly, silly council meetings. <laughs> no shit, huh? Silly council meetings. Uh, Jersey Watcher's been going to these city council meetings and he's been, you know, addressing things that he sees that he doesn't like. I got to say that I think Crystal is brilliant and I'll tell you guys why. Sometimes I just listen to him talk and, and I just watch his videos and I hear what he's talking about at the city council meetings. I know a lot of it seems a little goofy. Uh, stuff like that, but I think by Crystal constantly going to the city council meetings, asking questions, he uncovers things. He just pointed out that the mayor, Sam Joshi, is using money to self-promote himself, right? Taxpayer dollars. Is that even legal as a politician? I mean, can you do that? I'm guessing they find ways, right? That's why they have city attorneys to help them do certain things. I'm looking at this and I see a bigger picture. Government and obviously if you if you pay attention to some of the city the city council meeting They're talking about Comcast and using these other services or whatnot. And they're planning to You know put fiber optics and all kinds of different shit there One of the things that we do know is that government and mainstream media a lot of times they go hand in hand, right? And uh, a lot of times there's contracts involved in all of that as well that handshake, right? Government and mainstream media seem to always... The main, mainstream media will, will say and talk about what government will allow it to. They won't say certain things that the government's like, oh, well, this is not on the agenda. Let's not talk about this. What I'm trying to say is government uses mainstream media very well. Well... It's kind of a good thing that there's channels like mine, that there's channels like, you know, like many other channels that you guys watch regarding auditing, cop watching, whatnot. And there's people like Crystal, Jersey Watcher, who goes out there to these city council meetings and he's addressing some of these things. We got to understand that there's misappropriation of funds going on everywhere. A lot of times these government officials could be overspending or spending money where they're not supposed to be spending it. But they're never ever going to get caught unless somebody points it out, un unless somebody uncovers it. 
and I think it's next level shit. I think uh, Crystal is brilliant. I think uh, we could take all the work that he's doing in his community and we can learn how to do it for our communities. And and I got to say, I see a lot of folks out there now. Not a lot, but I see several auditing channels or cop watching channels or just journalists <clears throat> in general that follow our work, have seen our videos, are now going to city council meetings, are now asking questions. Now, don't get me wrong. We've been seeing videos of city council meetings for years before the auditing community came out. But now we're seeing it added to the auditing community. And I believe we're seeing auditors, cop watchers, journalists who understand and believe that we as a people should know and understand certain elements of the First Amendment, certain aspects of it all, of our human rights, right? Of our inalienable, natural born rights. I don't know how better else to say this. So it's important to have people like Crystal showing us how to do things, teaching each other, us as a community, learning from each other. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And I think Crystal is going out and demonstrating how we can go about asking questions, making sure that there isn't misappropriation of funds, making sure that politicians mayors like Sam Joshi doesn't do what he's not supposed to. That's why Crystal goes out of his way to make ethics complaints and stuff like that. We're learning. I guess the point of this video is we're not trolling this these city council members. We are not trolling them. We are using this city council as a learning tool so that we can know and understand more about how to hold our government officials accountable. And I think the most important thing that we took from this video is the fact that government and mainstream media work together. How do they do it? And who does it? Many of you guys watching paying attention, help us out, guide us in the right direction along the way, you know, as our channels progress. You guys in the comment section learn from each other. Uh, you guys push us in the right direction. And uh, with that being said, I want to say thank you to Christo at Jersey Watcher for always going up there and in the face of adversity and how would I say it? Being challenged, being trolled and hassled and harassed by police, uh, public officials trying to use the cops to harass you and, and just bully you. Uh, you've withstood all their punches and even now you're facing charges and you still are unafraid to get up there and question authority, question what they do to make sure that they're doing their job correctly. So with that being said, thank you, Crystal, for all the work that you do. Thank you for your bravery in your community and showing us how we should hold our own public officials accountable in our own communities. We as a people can learn from each other and better ourselves and this country. Government will never fix itself, folks. With that being said, thank you all for tuning in. Go subscribe to Crystal Jersey Watchers channel. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.